historical note was made, even in our state, statewide in the state of North Carolina, you do know it is a constitutional amendment to recognize marriage as a union between one man and one woman. But how many know that Fort Bragg is not state-owned land? Fort Bragg is federal territory. And the judge ruled the other day because our president will no longer enforce the law. DOMA is the law. Passed in 96, the Protection of Marriage Act was passed by President Bill Clinton. But our president decided that this is a law that he's not going to support. So since the federal government will not support DOMA, a woman who is married to a woman filed to be uh, a part of um, the officer's club. You know, as, off as an officer's club or an enlisted person's club in Fort Bragg where, you know, if your wife, your husband is fighting, you know, they have a club. Or if, if, if the husband is married to a woman and the woman's at war, you know, there's, there's a club, right? Well, this lady, put it on the screen, John. Let them see you. Ain't that an ugly couple? Ugly couple you'll ever find. There's no dad there. There's no dad. And I believe that, a, that children needs a mom and a dad, not a mom and a mom. Uh, these people have been, have been given the right Fort Bragg Spouses Club. It's called the Spouses Club. Recognize Amy, Army officer's partner. The club reviewed its bylaws and had rebuffed her application. Due to policies of this administration, the president's as commander in chief refusing to acknowledge and or enforce the Defense of Marriage Act, a federal law also banning don't ask, don't tell, allowed openly homosexuals in the military, uh, the lifting of the ban of women, um, the lifting of the ban of women on the front line. So ladies, I guess you're happy now that you can go get on the front line and get your head blowed off. Um, or if the Taliban catches you, they can, you know, do to you what they do to prisoners. I, what, what an achievement. Wow. You know, they wouldn't put women on the front line before because, you know, this is America. We still believe that that's a man's domain. No more. So I guess, you know, that's what equality means. They're going to blow that dude right off your head. And, um, 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 oh, yeah. But because the president won't enforce DOMA, uh, Fort Bragg was forced to re-examine their policies. America is picking a fight with the wrong one. Our arms are too short to box with God. People say to me, wouldn't you seem to be obsessed? I'm not the one obsessed with uh, giving homosexual rights and privileges. It's the president. And most straight men don't fight for men to be able to have sex with me. Because as a straight man, you find that repulsive. Ain't no biblical right, ain't no civil right for a man to take his, I, I got children, let me keep it rated G, private parts and put them into the mouth or the private parts of another man. I don't know why any straight man would be interested in fighting for that and call that a civil right and give people minority status based on that they're licking, lapping, and, 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 and all that on each other. So now, because that's your appetite, you actually gain minority status and get the, pres the, the prestige of the office of the presidency back in you. There's something wrong. You know, some things, you know, we say, well, Pastor, it was historic. This is historic. There's a whole lot of historic things happening. But whether they are historically good or bad, that's the issue. And it's bad 
when a nation forgets their God.